एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू द चैनल आई एम बैक विद अनदर वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग प्रॉब्लम सो लॉट ऑफ स्टूडेंट आस्क मी दैट अंकित यू पुट ओनली द कॉम्प्लेक्स प्रॉब्लम यू शुड पुट सम इजी प्रॉब्लम एज वेल सो टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू पुट अ लिटिल बिट इजी प्रॉब्लम दिस प्रॉब्लम वाज आस्क्ड इन एंजल वन फॉर अ डेटा साइंस इंटरव्यू सो लेट्स सी हाउ वी कैन सॉल्व इट ओके सो वी हैव दिस टिकट्स टेबल लेट्स अंडरस्टैंड द टेबल दिस इज अ टिकट्स ऑफ फ्लाइट्स वेयर वी हैव एयरलाइन नंबर ओरिजिन डेस्टिनेशन and this column is telling you this is a one way flight or it's a round trip so if it is o it is one way if it is r it is round trip and these are the number of tickets booked in that flight so we have to find the busiest route the busiest route is the one which has the highest number of total tickets right highest number of total tickets tickets sold that is the busiest route now one important thing here is it is saying delhi to bombay route is different from bombay to delhi route which means we have to consider this as a separate route bombay to delhi and delhi to bombay as a separate route similarly delhi to new york is a di different route and new york to delhi is a different route right also if it is a round trip so there will be two two trips right there will be two routes if it is round trip one is delhi to bombay which has 50 tickets there is another route which is bombay to delhi right which has also a total ticket count of 50 okay so we have to consider all this and find the busiest route okay now if you imagine that there was no round trip everything was one way right then it would have been very easy for me i would have said origin comma destination right from tickets comma sum of ticket count let's say as tc right group by origin destination if there was no concept of round trip here i would have done this and said order by tc descending right so it will give me the route with the highest ticket count 290 this would have been straight away like this but the problem here is i need to consider the round trips as well right i need to consider round trips as well so if i go back to the table again okay so what i will do first of all i will take columns which are required so i'll just take these columns other columns are not required and i will say one way round and ticket count okay so now for for one side all the tickets are there in this query right but we have to now consider the round trips the reverse trip as well so for that what we can do we can do a union all so i will say union all and i will take this as it is i'll put a filter where one way round equal to round trip because for one way trip i have all the data from this query right for round trip also i have one side data from this query only the reverse i need in the union all in the second query so i'll just filter on one way round equal to r and i will reverse the destination will be origin and origin will be destination right so the first column is origin but destination we are taking as origin so when we do union all the column names will be taken from the first query so column name will be origin in that destination will come so now if i run this query okay now when we do union all sometimes it is difficult to understand that which row is coming from which query right so sometimes what i will do i'll just put one and i will put two right so now when i do union i will know that which row is coming from which query okay so these initial rows are coming from first table first query right so if you see wherever round trip is there so there we have round trip delhi to bombay right delhi to bombay is 50 and here from to also coming bombay to delhi so it is the reverse of this right and 50 and 50 right so we got the row for the return return trip as well similarly if you see this one for example new york to delhi so for new york to delhi we have 60 and we have a row delhi to new york 60 right so this way we have everything now for the round trip also we considered the return trips now we don't need this we'll just remove this we don't even need this 
so let's remove whatever is not required right and this is my all the data that i need now what i can do i can simply create a ct or you can run a sub query anything is fine so i'll just i'll just run this query on this so i will select so what i will do just to make it more clear i'll just run the same query instead of ticket i will put this sub query so instead of this i am just using this as a or you can create a ct anything is fine and now this query will run so instead of directly taking from tickets i have created this query of data whatever i need and if i run this now i am getting that delhi to new york has the maximum is the busiest route with ticket count 350 if you want only the one record the busiest route you can do top okay so this is it and this is my route okay i hope i hope this makes sense let me know if you have a easier solution uh, please like the video share the video have a good day bye bye